So the last example of phase shift keying we had was binary, where it was 180 degrees change in the phase of the wave. Now let's get on to how computers actually send a lot more data than otherwise. 802.11, the early standards used binary um, phase shift keying. Modern ones work on a derivative of what? So binary phase shift keying is the simplest form. Let's have a look at quadrature. Instead of having on or off, or 0 or 180 degrees, we use 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees. And because you have got four options now, you can have four different 2 to the power 2 numbers per signal. So if I transmit something at 0, that tells the demodulator, if it starts in zero phase, then it's the first two digits in binary are zero, zero. If it starts at 90 degrees, it tells the computer it's zero, one. If it starts at 180 degrees, it tells the computer at the other end it's 1011. So now we have the transmission time, like so. Zero, 01 become our first point. Zero, 01, 180 degrees. So our first one, I'm only drawing a neat single sine wave in each. Zero, 01, the next two numbers. Zero, zero. Zero, zero starts at, there and goes up. Just indicate neatly the um, gaps. The next one, 0, 1, 90 degrees again. 0, 1, oh, look at that, 90 degrees again. 1, 0, 1, 0 is 180. Start there. In half the time, we have transmitted the same amount of numbers. That was quadrature phase shift keying. So that means now we can actually start to send more numbers now if we actually want to know. Instead of going 90 degrees, we could go 45 degrees apart and we could basically set up a whole stack of patterns. Let's look at what's next.